welcome back. We're going to stream a <clears throat> really great uh, recent Atari 2600 release, uh, a homebrew game that I purchased from Atari Age, uh, created by Mick Muse. It is called Deep Stone Catacomb, and it is a, a kind of roguelike random dungeon um, action RPG, which is great. Very heavily influenced by classics like Legend of Zelda, uh, Adventure, um, maybe a little bit of Berserk, and uh, it has an ending, and there's bosses. All kinds of things that would have been incredible <laughs> in the 80s uh, for an Atari 2600 game. Um, and so the fact that you know people are releasing these kinds of games with all these wonderful features that run on your original Atari 2600 in 2021 is quite remarkable. So, um, anyway, uh, I have beat this game previously. There are multiple difficulties. Uh, mode 1 is the easiest difficulty. Mode 2 is harder version of Mode 1. And Mode 3 is like endless score attack where you just, the dungeon never ends uh, and you try to get a high score. So we're just going to play on mode one, which is the normal difficulty, um, and uh, see if we can beat Deep Stone Catacomb. Um, it wasn't too hard to beat, but it was uh, not particularly easy, uh, which is great. It, it struck a nice balance of gameplay and difficulty. I don't like it when games are impossible, but I don't like it when games are a complete pushover. Uh, I enjoy a good challenge. So... Anyway, uh, if you're interested in looking at Deepstone Catacomb for yourself, you can go to the Atari Age store, um, atariage.com, and order a copy for yourself. And supporting homebrew game creators like Mick Muse is great, so that we can keep uh, Atari gaming alive. So, all right, let's get started with Deepstone Catacomb. <laughs> So at the bar there we have uh, a health bar and the three dots are your lives. And you have a score in the middle there. So used to not being able to touch the walls in Berserk. <laughs> touch the walls in Deep Stone Catacomb. Now we're just killing some scorpions here. Again, I wish the color was better on my capture card for Atari. I, I, I have no idea why the 2600 looks so washed out or the colors just aren't very rich. I tried filling with it a little bit between stream games here. Can't quite figure it out. So if you want to get the best score, you probably want to go through every room. But you don't have to. There are some things that you can miss, though. There's an improved sword, magic sword, that you can find that lets you shoot when you're at full health like The Legend of Zelda. It's a trap. It's kind of interesting. It's not really clear what it is. Oh, I got a mushroom. That's cool. Mushrooms are extra lives. I only have four, though. If you hold down the, the button, you can run. Which is useful for fighting some of the bosses and stuff. Getting away from the trap. I'm not going to go for a high score. I'm just going to try to beat it. Whenever I play a game like a roguelike, I always strike to, I like to be a completionist and explore all the rooms. I don't like to leave stuff behind, even though I'm not really... There's not much to leave behind in this game other than points. <laughs> you can also collect uh, meat, which gives you... These guys take multiple hits. 
Which replenishes your health, which I'm going to need here because I'm hurting. I mean, had this game been released, you know, in the early 80s before the video game crash, this would have been an absolute classic. Especially with the, the kind of Dungeons and Dragons craze that was raging at that time. I mean, considering this compared to Adventure, which people really loved, you know, this is vastly superior. Trying to uh, get through the dungeon and rescue the princess. And no mystery here. Guess I'll just go down. I think it's this. I think level five is where you start. You might find the. No, there's a mini boss. way down. Uh, I guess that's it. Well, mini boss level. All right. This level is purple. You can't really tell so well on the stream capture, unfortunately. The purple level, I think, is where... Oh, those guys throw things. I forgot about that. I kind of wish that they would have had a shield. There's the magic sword. Excellent. And you can see you can shoot now, which is great. I need a key. switches and stuff. Kind of gambling here. I should probably just go down. <laughs> oh yeah, these guys stink. These are supposed to be the little creatures from the picture on the cover of the game. You know, like skull, spider things. I can't remember the actual name. Like Razids or something like that. They're tough. I'm real quick. Oh, we another mini boss here? No. And if you have no health bar isn't full, then you lose your shot, just like in Legend of Zelda. So, we don't want to take hits. Uh, I'm going to lose that ability to shoot. Take a lot of hits. I need some food. Great. This is a mini boss. I'm not full health. Uh. Oh, that's the first dragon. Uh. Alright, well, back to full health. <laughs> when you die, at least you get to start the, the uh, level. Definitely need shots to hurt the dragon. Uh. I just kind of went in there for that. <laughs> <laughs> On the harder difficulty, you take a lot more damage, and you can't do that. And when you defeat the dragon, you get a treasure room, which is really great. Nice base. Oh, sweet. I'm going to find some food in here, too. This is a game that I actually like playing with the uh, 
Sega Genesis controller because you have to hit the button a lot and uh, actually tire out my thumb. Genesis controller is just a little bit better for this kind of a game. But we'll see how long we can tolerate using the joystick. If you didn't already know that, the Atari uh, 2600 will respond to the original Sega Genesis controller, which is pretty nice. I mean, it's a control pad. Not authentic Atari controller, but it does work. Ugh, I'm hurting. I need some food. Come on. Some food for me, monsters. I'll go down, man. Oh, yes. More traps. No, oh, so much for that. Well, I guess that's right. You can kill those things. They're like fire elementals or something. And it's really great that these are random dungeons, so, you know, it's different every time. Ah, uh, yes. Another mini boss. And health. Nice. Alright. I think there's 16 levels. a bummer because I had to kill the monsters to get out of the room. Uh, it'd be nice if you could... Uh, the bullets or something. I think you can with the shot, but you can't deflect them with just the regular sword. Here, you went this way? Oh, yeah. Much like Berserk, if you can shoot diagonally, it's, it's better. Losing that shot really stinks. Some food for me? There's another game that's a little bit like this that was an actual original release, late release for the Atari in, I think, 1990 or 89. It's a game called Secret Quest, which was incorrectly attributed to uh, Nolan Bushnell. <laughs> it's kind of funny. They, they advertise it as being like Nolan Bushnell's return to the Atari 2600, which is ridiculous. Uh, I'm not sure what the whole deal with that was. 
But anyway, um, Secret Quest is actually not a terrible game. Also heavily influenced by the success of The Legend of Zelda with Nintendo, which Atari was sort of, I guess, trying to sort of maybe compete with still in the late 80s with the 2600, which is crazy. But Atari, after they were, you know, purchased by Warner and then sold after the video game crash is just sort of a sad story anyway. The glory days of the late 70s and early 80s were long gone by then. It's amazing that they still try to support the 2600 hardware that late. And some of those late Atari, Atari 2600 re releases are pretty, like, interesting what they try to do. They made a Double Dragon release, and they made uh, Xenophobe, um, Secret Quest. Hmm. Alright. This is maybe the final dragon? not the final boss. Maybe the final dragon. I think the, the last boss is like a, like a big skull demon head thing or something. I can't remember. That's nice. Got some food. I can't remember what my high score was last time. I haven't been going to every room. So I might be missing some treasure so to speak. If you consider that the Atari has only 128 bytes of memory, this game is quite remarkable. This is not a boss, it's just a room with this head in there and took some hits. It's a bummer. I'm getting close to the end. As I start to die and I died there. Pretty good here for the end uh, boss. Alright, let's take a little breather here. There's no evil auto to come in and kill me. <laughs> suggestions on my little review I wrote on Atari Age for this was that it'd be nice if there had been a couple more items to pick up other than just the magic sword. I mean, I understand the limitations of the system, and this is already incredible for an Atari 2600 game. But if there'd been, like, a shield or something that would let you block shots like in Zelda, that would have been cool. Considering the limitations... Slot. 
copy here. Well, 20. I feel like that must be getting close to the boss. I don't remember how many levels there are. This is another mini boss. If I can kill this without dying, that'd be great. Good. Less lies, I'm less inclined to keep exploring. Awesome. Full up on lives. That was huge. I feel like this might be the last boss. I'm full up on lives. Full up on health. Last dragon. treasure room. <laughs> nice. Can I get all those points? Alright. I think that's it. I think we're going to see the end here. Princess. Nice little bonus here at the end. And the little end screen. So that was great. Uh, a cheerful little game. Um, really, really fun little homebrew. And I like that there's different modes of difficulty. Like I said, the, the first mode isn't particularly difficult. Uh, 
second mode is is the harder version and really the right version probably to, to play for a challenge if I were to play this again on stream I'd probably try to beat it on the harder difficulty but uh, anyway that's deep stone catacomb from start to finish I uh, got a decent -ish score I didn't go for all the points uh, 16,405 so anyway uh, we're just about out of time so uh, thanks for tuning in uh, I'm watching some Atari 2600 games on original hardware and uh, we'll be back streaming next week next Wednesday for sure might do a bonus stream on the weekend not sure about that but anyway hope you have a great night uh, great rest of your evening and thanks for watching